This one is a simple data sufficiency question from number properties. Test your understanding about odd and even numbers. That's a concept tested. What is the question? If X and Y are positive integers, is Y odd the question? Before looking into the statements, let's get some clarity on what the answer to the question should look like. So in this question, as you have discussed for any B verb question, the answer should be an yes or a no. It should be a definite yes or a definite no. If you're able to say from the information in the statement or statements that Y is definitely odd, then the data is sufficient. We'll answer it with an S. Conversely, if you're able to say conclusively without an iota of doubt that Y cannot be an odd number, even then the data is sufficient. We'll answer it with a no. When is it not sufficient? You are giving an answer saying that maybe it could be odd, it need not be odd, which is when the data is not sufficient. Always keep track of certain little things that come from the question stem. What information do we have about X and Y from the question stem? We know that both are positive integers. This is vital to solving this question. Let's start with statement 1. Statement 1 says X is odd. This gives information about X. Nothing is known about Y. So obviously this statement is very easy to eliminate. Despite knowing that X and Y are positive integers, with no information about Y, we will not be able to deduce whether y is odd or otherwise. So statement 1 alone is not sufficient. Let's rule out choices A and D. What we have narrowed it down to is choices B, C or E. Let's quickly look at statement 2. Statement 2 tells us that x into y, the product of these two numbers is odd. This information comes from the question stem that x and y are positive integers. x and y are positive integers, their product is odd. When will the product of two positive integers be odd? When both of them are odd. Which is the only case when it will be odd. If even one of them is even, the product will become even. Product of two even numbers is even. Product of an odd and an even number is even. The product will be odd only when both the numbers are odd. So from this we can deduce that both x is odd and y is odd. So the question is, is y odd? We are able to answer with a definite yes. So statement 2 alone is sufficient. We narrowed it down to choices b, c or e at the end of statement 1. You can rule out these two. Answer choice B is the correct answer. Hold on for a minute. Without this information, X and Y are positive integers. Could we have answered this question? Would statement 2 be sufficient? We'll always think that product of two odd numbers is odd. Perfectly odd, right? But will something like this be odd? 7 by 2 into 2 by 1. These two will cancel to give us an answer, which is a 7. So in this case, X is a fraction. It's not even an integer y is even, the product is odd, we cannot say. So this information that x and y are positive integers is crucial to make statement 2 work. So always keep track of information that comes about these numbers, x, y or whatever it is from the question stem. Quickly recap the second statement alone in a printed form. We know that the product of two numbers will be odd only when both the numbers are odd if they are positive integers, which essentially means that y is definitely odd. We are answering it with a definite yes. Statement 2 alone is sufficient. In rule out choices C and E, choice B is the correct answer.